As you may already know, the Planet Scale decided to shut down their hobby plan and now you need to upgrade and pay $40 a month. Therefore, I have decided to migrate off to a different database provider and I will be migrating to the Neon PostgreSQL because they have a free tier. Well, at least for now. For migration from MySQL to PostgreSQL, I will use PG Loader tool. Since I'm on Windows, I will use the PG Loader via Docker. So first, make sure you have a Docker installed. We will use the command line so you can verify your Docker installation with docker dash dash version command. All right, then we need to pull the latest PG Loader image with a Docker pull. We can run PG Loader with a Docker run command to verify the PG Loader is working. We need to create a config.load file, which will be used by the PG Loader for information like source database connection string, target database connection string, and others. Inside this file, we say load database from and provide the connection string to your MySQL Planet Scale database. You can get this string by navigating to settings, passwords, select your password, and copy this connection string. Keep in mind that you need to replace the asterisk with the actual password. Next, we say into, and here we need to provide the connection string to the database you want to migrate. So let's go ahead and create a Neon account. Provide your project name, select the Postgres version, and provide the database name. Enter the same table name as you had in PlanetScale MySQL, so in my case it's Finance Dashboard. Finally, select the region nearest to you or your users, and create a project. Ok, so now press a little eye icon and copy the connection string. Important thing to mention, we need to add the endpoint ID in between the username and password. Endpoint ID value is this one. Lastly, we can provide some more options like with quote identifiers. This one is especially important if you are using Prisma as this property ensures that the tables and column names stays exactly the same after the migration. For example, lowercase or uppercase. Include drop means that the PG loader will delete the matching tables in PostgreSQL database before the migration. This allows you to run PG loader migration multiple times if you have to. Create tables and indexes tells the PG loader to not only migrate the data but create the tables and the indexes as well. All right, it's time to migrate from PlanetScale MySQL to Neon Postgre, and we can initiate the migration by running this Docker command. Make sure to provide a correct absolute path to the config.load file on your PC. Run the command and your database migration will start. After the successful migration, we can see a log report summary. And now we can go ahead to your Neon console and check the migrated data. Select your schema and you should be able to see your tables. Now let's compare the data between the Postgre and MySQL. Let's run a select bank account on PlanetScale. We had 12 rows and we can see the exact same data on the Neon Postgres. The same applies to other tables like transactions. So yeah, the migration was successful. Now the last step is to update your application to point to a new database. Open your schema.prisma file change the provider from MySQL to PostgreSQL and in your environment file remove the old PlanetScale database URL and take the new one from the Neon console. Select Prisma and here is your new URL. Remember to press this little eye icon to show the password before the copying. Paste the new URL and at the very end of the string we need to provide the schema we want to use, so in my case it's finance dashboard schema. Now we can run an npx prisma generate to regenerate the prisma client with the new connection and provider details and start the application to verify that everything is working as expected. So we can see our bank accounts, let's try to add a new one. Let's name it as hello neon postgresql and let's give a balance of $39. Alright, now let's check neon console and as you can see our application is now correctly using this postgresql database. Finally, I will delete my PlanetScale database by going to Settings and at the bottom you can see a Delete Database button, confirm your database name and delete the database. To delete the account itself, go to Settings and similarly at the bottom you will find a Delete Account button. Just make sure you have migrated the data successfully before removing everything. Let me know in the comments down below if you were able to successfully migrate your data from PlanetScale to Neon or some other PostgreSQL database provider. 
And thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like this video and see you on the next one.